Welcome to Stream Developers. In this video, we will build a fully functional messaging application in React Native using Expo and Streams Chat SDK, supporting ready to use UI components such as channel list, message list, message input, and more. By the end of this guide, you will have a mobile application that runs on both Android and iOS. Here is the final sample app. The channel list displays a list of channels using React Native's flat list component. We can navigate through the channel list, like the contact list in most popular apps like WhatsApp or Telegram. Pressing any of the channel list items navigates you to the messages list where you can compose messages and also add reactions. In this example, we are reacting to a message on both iOS and Android. With the text input commands, you can use animated GIFs, emojis, and app mentions. With the attachment support, you can add media such as files, documents, images, and videos. For demonstration purpose, let's pick a photo from the iOS Photos library. I will allow full access to the gallery and attach any of these photos. Then we will add a message and send it. Using the recording feature, you can record your voice or any sound, play it back, and send it as a message. Like text messages, you can react to audio messages. With the support of in-app polls, you can easily conduct polls, create and manage Q&As, and also get feedback from people or users. You can download the demo app from GitHub by cloning this repo and testing the app yourself on both Android and iOS. The video's description includes a link to this repo. You will need to meet the following requirements to follow along with the tutorial and successfully run the React Native chat messaging application, both on Android and iOS. You should install the latest version of both Xcode and Android Studio to run and test the app successfully. After installing Xcode, go to Settings and navigate to locations. Under command line tools, you make sure the version of Xcode is selected. Next, you should go to Android Studio. On this welcome screen, you click more actions and select virtual device manager. From the device manager, you make sure you create a new virtual device. I have already added one. So we are going to run the app on Pixel 9 Pro Extra Large. Next, you go back to the welcome screen and click more actions again and select SDK Manager. With the SDK Manager, you should configure Android Studio to work with your machine specification. You have noticed here I have selected some options under Android 15 Vanilla Ice Cream, so that may be different for your machine. To learn more about how to configure these settings for your machine, you should visit the official React Native Guide. The last requirement is the Streams Chat SDK for React Native. To create a demo export chat app from scratch, we have a tutorial on our website. It gives you a step-by-step -step guide in creating the messaging app with Expo from scratch. There is also another section in this same tutorial that helps you to customize the chat messaging application. So to create the Expo messaging app from scratch, first, we need to initialize an app with Expo CLI using this command. Then we navigate to the root directory and install the stream chat SDK. Then we add all these core dependencies, net info, expo file system, expo image manipulator, and this. Next, you will need to install optional and media dependencies, such as expo media library, expo image picker, video, expo haptics, and others. After adding the core and optional dependencies, you will need to configure the SDK to work with your expo application. From this quick start guide, we will clone the sample demo from GitHub and run it on both iOS and Android. So I'll click code and choose this option to copy the URL to clipboard. Let's launch Kesa and git clone it. After cloning the app successfully, we need to install some dependencies. So let's move to the project's root and yarn install to install all project dependencies. Next, we move to the package directory and yarn install as well. 
since we are using expo we will go to the expo package and repeat the same action lastly we will move to the expo messaging directory in the example directory of the project and then install once more before running the sample demo let's go through some few files in the project in the app directory i will select the typescript index file so in this file we create a channel list component that displays the chat channels using stream chat expo first we import the necessary dependencies then we define these two constants for filtering the channels and also sorting the channels by last update with the channel screen component we create a screen that lists the messaging channels for a specific user we can select a channel navigate to a detailed channel view while updating the app's context the next file to talk about is chat wrapper in this file we import all chat related components and hooks so the chat wrapper configures the chat sdk by initializing stream chat client with api key and authenticated user and token for this project we are using an api key that works with streams tutorial environment however for your production app you should visit the stream homepage and click start coding for free this will take you to a sign up page after signing up for a stream account you will get an api key from your dashboard next in the chat wrapper we apply theming and localization and render child components within a chat context the last file to talk about is layout with the layout component we set up the core structure of the app by integrating save area handling gesture support and stack navigation to ensure that all screens have stack navigation before we run the app we should go to the ios folder of the project and do one more configuration so let's navigate to this directory to run the app successfully on ios you should configure your bundle id and team you have noticed here we have an xcode file but we don't open this one in xcode you select the one that has extension xc workspace let's control click it and open it with xcode in xcode you should navigate to the sign in and capabilities tab then you set your team and also you set the bundle id we can now run the app in xcode by clicking the run button or go back to kesa and run it there so i'll bring the terminal and run it from here let's run it on ios first so we need to navigate to the ios directory and run the app with yarn ios that will take a while because it is going to launch the xcode simulator after running the app on ios we will also launch it on android you have noticed here it is now installing the app on the iphone system pro simulator so let's wait for a moment we can also launch another terminal instance and run it on android so in the android directory let's run yarn android that will also take a while before installing the app successfully on an android device so we now have the app on both ios and android with the ios version there is some caching issue so you have noticed here some of the images are not loading we can send messages and perform other chat operations like i showed in the beginning of the video adding attachments and also voice recording everything is working fine everything is working fine that is all we have in this video this quick start guide tutorial has guided you in building a fully functioning react native chat messaging application using expo and the streams chat sdk for a step-by-step -step guide on creating a messaging app using expo and stream I encourage you to check the tutorial in the description of the video. It takes you from building your first cross-platform messaging app with Expo and Stream to customizing it to your business's use case. Additionally, you can visit our documentation to learn more about advanced customization and implementation of messaging features like polls, voice messages, push notifications using Apple APNS and Firebase adding custom attachments, video calling and live streaming. Thanks for watching this video.